Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for being here today. We're going to be talking about this potential Iranian spy ship for the Houthis. Okay, if you see here on your screen, this is called the Bashad. Okay, and this is a ship that supposedly uh, Iran is claiming they use this ship to protect uh, shipping lanes due to piracy. Okay, so I guess they've had issues in the past with a lot of uh, commercial vessels and boats being attacked and uh, robbed by pirates. So supposedly Iran is using this ship in the Red Sea um, in the Gulf of Aden area to you know protect other ships from piracy. Now we have U.S. officials coming out and saying, hey, you know what? We believe we've got intelligence to to believe that this ship and many ships like it could potentially be be used to provide intelligence to the Houthis to aid them in targeting more commercial vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. So uh, we've got a little bit of a standoff going on here because Iran's coming out and saying, hey, if you guys target this ship or any of our ships at all, we will we will consider this an attack on Iran. Okay, and there's no word coming out as of now that the U.S. is planning to attack these ships, but we've got U.S. officials warning that these ships are are assisting the Houthis. This, these are Iranian ships, by the way, and they are assisting, at least the Bashad is assisting targeting intelligence to help the Houthis attack more commercial ships in the Red Sea. So they may be giving them coordinates and things like that. Um there's just there's a lot of uh, accusations being thrown around here, and I want you guys to be aware of this. I think this is very interesting, and and uh, there is there a possibility that the U.S. could go after this ship, this Bashad, or potentially other ships that are like it, okay? Because there could be a possibility that there's more of them. So I've got a video here that I want to show you. This is Brigadier General uh, Patrick Ryder, right here, okay, and he's the uh, military spokesperson. For the Pentagon and he's basically asked here from a news reporter if they're aware of the Bashad and you know is there is there plans to to you know strike Iran things like that so let's go ahead and take a look here and you guys listen for yourself to that there is a ship called the Bashad I'm sure you've heard of it in the Red Sea and Iran issued a warning saying uh, it's saying the US should not target this ship they claim it's a counter piracy mission ship, but uh, it's widely believed that is actually uh, a spy ship effectively providing electronic intelligence to the Houthis to help them spot targets. Um, is that is that a target that's off limits? Uh, so first of all, I'm not aware of the U.S. targeting the Bashad. We are very well aware of the Bashad. Uh, as you've heard NavSent talk about before, uh, it's pretty standard for Iran to have a ship in the Red Sea uh, conducting operations as you've highlighted. So that in and of itself is not unusual. Um, and again, so I'm, we're there again to support freedom of navigation, to work with the international community to ensure that vessels can safe, safely transit this waterway. Uh, we are not there to seek confrontation or war with Iran. But if our forces are threatened, we will take appropriate action. Okay, so Clearly, there's there's no attempted, uh, you know, no, no attempt to strike this ship or go after it or anything like that as of now. But as he's stating here, you know, if they if they come under attack or if there's any kind of threat over there in the Red Sea or the Gulf of Aden, they will take action. Okay, the U.S. will take action on this ship if need be. So I think what the U.S. is going to do right now is gather more intelligence and find out, you know, study this ship track where they're going, you know, see if they can if they can track their comms and see if they are actually communicating with the Houthis and giving them information to target more ships. I think that's what the US is going to do for right now. So, yeah, we've got Iran coming out and saying, "Hey, if you guys target this ship, we will we will consider that an attack on on Iran." Okay? And Iran has been has been coming out and saying that a lot lately. Uh, due to these retaliatory strikes throughout the Middle East and Iraq and Syria. And these are because uh, of that Tower 22 military base in Jordan that was hit by a drone. And we had three U.S. soldiers that were killed and at least 40 others that were wounded. So there's a lot of escalation happening over here. Lots of information coming out. 
And is it possible that this Bashad ship uh, is being used to assist the Houthis in targeting and spotting more commercial vessels to uh, to hit them with missiles? Okay, because the Houthis have been uh, attacking quite a few ships. I just put out a video earlier today talking about this, that there was a ship that was hit or two ships that were hit, excuse me, or at least one that was attacked almost hit. The other one was directly hit. Okay, so how were the Houthis able to to gather this uh, intelligence to to figure out where these ships are at? Okay, we've been having lots of reports that the U.S. has been conducting strikes inside of Yemen, taking out radar facilities, communications facilities. So uh, either there's more of these radar uh, centers inside of Yemen that they're using to communicate, to target and figure out where ships are at. Or they are getting help from a, from a ship like the Bashad sitting out in the Gulf of Aden, uh, you know, tracking tracking commercial vessels and giving information to the Houthis so they can uh, you know better uh, better strike these ships and make them more accurate, right? So I've got an article we're going to go over and talk about this. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper here. All right, so Iran goes public with stark warning over a suspected spy ship as the U.S. refuses to rule out more strikes. A ship is an extension of, of the state's sovereign territory, so an attack on Iranian ship would be technically or would technically be an attack or direct attack on Iran, one expert said. So they can't exactly go after this ship unless they're willing to go with to war with Iran, basically, right? So in Herbal Iraq, after a weekend of U.S. strikes against its proxies in Iraq, Syria, and Yemen, Iran has issued a strongly worded warning not to target a ship that U.S. officials and analysts suspect of providing real-time intelligence for attacks on other vessels in the Red Sea and serving as a forward operating base for its commandos. In a slickly produced video published on the Iranian Army's Telegram channel Sunday, a narrator said in English that those engaging in terrorist activities against the MV Bashad or similar vessels jeopardize international maritime routes, security, and assume global responsibility for potential future international risks. So basically saying, you know, if we if we end up going to war with you because you attack one of our ships, it's going to be your fault. Describing the Bashad as a floating armory, the narrator says it is involved in missions to counter piracy in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Although Iran is not publicly known to have taken part in any recent anti-piracy campaigns in the region. So I thought that was interesting. If they're not known to take part in any anti-piracy campaigns, then supposedly this has been going on for a while. I, it, uh, the spokesperson, Brigadier General uh, Patrick Ryder, that was saying there in that video, he said that they're aware of the Bashad operating in that region. And they said it's very common for them to be operating. So... How is it not known that they're doing these anti-piracy campaigns with using these vessels? Very interesting. The video ends with footage of what appears to be ships in an American carrier group flashing red and as though they are being targeted. A man then lowers the U.S. flag. Asked by NBC News about the ship Monday, Defense Department Press Secretary Major General Patrick Ryder said, I am not aware of the U.S. targeting the Bashad. We are very well aware of that ship. The Bashad is registered as a commercial cargo ship with a Tehran-based company that the U.S. Treasury has sanctioned as allegedly being a front for the state-run Islamic Republic of Iran shipping lines. The Iranian ship provides electronic intelligence to the Houthis, enabling them to spot and target vessels in the Red Sea region. According to a U.S. official, a U.S. congressional aide with knowledge of the matter and the Middle Eastern official so. Um, clearly they haven't completely come out with this evidence yet, but it looks like they're building up this evidence to prove that this ship is being used to uh, provide intelligence to the Houthis so they can target more ships. Rear Admiral Mark M uh, Miguez, the commander of the Dwight D. Eisenhower Aircraft Carrier Strike Group, currently assigned to the task of safeguarding commercial shipping in the Red Sea, told NBC News that Houthi forces are receiving help from Iran to strike at cargo vessels, although he did not directly mention the Bashad. So there's lots of talk going on about this, that the Houthis are receiving literally inter, uh, intelligence help from the Iranians. So they're not just being given these missiles, not just being given these drones. Like, think about how 
much Iran is directly involved with this. The only difference is they are not the ones launching the missiles. That's the only difference. They're providing all the intellige, intelligence, excuse me, and pro providing all the weaponry, the missiles, the drones, the naval drones, whatever it might be. And then they just use these proxy groups in other countries so they can say, hey, well, it's not really us doing it. It's, it's uh, you know, the Yemen Houthis doing it. It's Hezbollah. It's Qatayib Hezbollah. It's the Islamic resistance in Iraq. It's, it's not us doing it. It's their proxy group. So that's how they get away with this without the U.S. having to directly strike them. But in reality, they are the ones doing all of this. They're, they're just holding these people uh, you know, under their control and saying, Hey, you know, pull, pull the, pull the trigger on this gun, pull the, you know, press the button on this missile and launch it. So they're the ones doing all this. They're using intelligence from Iran to give some targeting information. He said several military analysts have drawn the same conclusion, including Michael Knights of the Washington Institute for near East policy, a Washington based pro Israel think tank whose research focuses on Iranian proxies. The ships pretend to be anti-piracy garrison ships that Iranian and Syrian shipping can visit, but actually they are transshipment points for Iranian weapons, he said, adding that military trainers for the Tehran-backed Hezbollah group in Lebanon also use them. The Bashad and its sister vessel, Safiz, so here's another one, Safiz also are also loaded with Iranian electro electronic intelligence equipment used to locate target vessels for uh, locate target vessels for the Houthis to strike, Knight said. NBC News has been monitoring the vessel using shipping tracking data and found it has lingered in the exactly same spot in the south of the Red Sea between Yemen and Eritrea from, from at least January 2023. So that that's a little interesting because so it's been sitting out there for about a year now and it's been lingering in the same area, this Bashad ship, right? So if it's something that's been going on for a little while now, the, these uh, attacks on on shipping in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden barely started in, what, October, November, somewhere in there? Okay, soon after the Hamas and Israel war started. So if this ship is just sitting out here then, then what is it really there for? If it's not there for anti-piracy campaign, but yet Iran claims it is there for, for anti-piracy, then why is it there? Why is it just chilling out there? Kind of interesting, right? So, yeah, apparently they were tracking this ship. NBC News was tracking it and uh, trying to figure out what it, where it's been going, what it's been doing, and it's apparently it's been sitting out here since January 2023. So nearly a year now it's been sitting out there in the exact same area. So maybe it's possible that it really was used for anti-piracy at some point, but maybe they've recently converted it to, uh, you know, kind of, mask their operations that they're really helping out the Houthis to target more ships because maybe the Houthis only have so much capability and maybe they do need that extra intelligence help from the, from Iran to help them out so they can actually target these ships uh, directly. So I think that's pretty crazy news that's coming out. I just wanted to share that with you so you're aware of it. Uh, but yeah, the U U.S. officials are accusing Iran that they're using this Bashad ship and maybe others, maybe the, the Safis um, and maybe several other ships that are similar to it are being used. And I'm, I'm sure the U.S. right now is is uh, conducting some investigations to figure out if any of these ships um, and which ones may be providing intelligence to the Houthis so they can continue targeting ships. And uh, if they're able to get concrete evidence and prove that, I think we might have bit some big problems here. So we, we just keep getting closer and closer every day to at least a major regional war breaking out in the Middle East between the U.S. Um, and, uh, you know, potentially other like coalition groups that are part of this, like the U.K., OK, other countries in the in Europe that are involved down here. Very big possibility that a war could break out down here and. It could just eventually lead to World War Three, is what it could really do. Because once Iran gets involved, this is this is no longer just little strikes back and forth. No, this is going to be a major, major war. If anything breaks out over here with Iran, it, this is no joke. So, uh, I really hope that this ship is not involved in in these strikes with the Houthis. But if the U.S. is somehow able to come out and prove this 
once and for all that they really are using these ships. Very, very well, uh, could we see a uh, you know an attack on this ship or a a seizure? It could be seized. It's possible it could be seized. Maybe they can get some sort of order uh, to uh, seize it. You know, classifying it as like a terror terrorist ship or something like that, and maybe the the U.S. military can seize that ship. I don't know what can happen, but this is an Iranian ship, so big deal. What's going on over here? Hope you're paying attention to that, but. Uh, that's going to be it that I have for you here on this Iranian ship. I'm going to keep an eye on this story. I'm sure this story will be developing over time. And as soon as I get more information on it, I will definitely report to all of you on this. So I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy these updates or if you enjoy this video, like the video, please. And if you enjoy my updates that I put out every single day, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And we do put out several of these videos every single day. So I appreciate you being here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Everybody take care. God bless. And we'll see you later.